So I know what you're probably wondering, and the answer is no. The Case for Discrimination is not an alt-right book. Walter Block is not alt-right. I'm not alt-right. But this book is still very good. It's it's very thought-provoking. Now, I do want you to know this book is just a compilation of essays, compilation of articles and all that that Walter Block has written over time, just crammed all together into one book under the theme of discrimination. So even though it is a pretty large book, a lot of it is just a repeat. A lot of the essays have similar introductions because they're on the same topic. But it is a very thought-provoking book because I, I like Walter Block. Very nice guy. I met him before. He's super nice. Just take whatever, like, we're all a bit consequentialist. We all, like, we'll take principles to their conclusions, but if something seems just absolutely outrageous, we'll, we'll stop there. Like, the thing I kind of like about Walter Block is he doesn't stop. He just says, okay, give me an ideological principle, and then I will take it to the conclusion that I can. I will just follow the logic path and see where I go. And he comes up with some pretty good stuff. It's just very thought-provoking whether you agree with it or not. And the case for discrimination, he brings up, obviously, discrimination. And the whole thing with Walter Block is he might not say it's a good thing. Even if he makes the case for it, he's not saying it's a good thing. He's not saying he would do it. He's just making the case of, is it kind of allowed in a society? Where do we draw the line, that thing? And when it comes to discrimination, Walter Block makes the case of, okay, is discrimination good or bad? And we cannot say either way. I mean, I don't think you can. And then, of course, then there's, is discrimination okay in business, in friendships, all that stuff? But we, he points out we discriminate all the time. I mean, to discriminate is basically to choose by definition. To discriminate is to say to one person, no, I prefer this person. Or, yes, I am discriminating by choosing you or by not choosing you. So if I pick someone that's taller or stronger or has a higher IQ, he's smarter, she's smarter, whatever. That is discrimination. So then the question becomes, where we, where do we draw the line? Because if we were to actually ban discrimination, well, we couldn't survive because we couldn't make choices, period. We could not make choices, and we'd cease to function. So what do we allow? Well, do we allow discrimination based on IQ? Do we allow discrimination based on height, on gender, like weight? On, I mean, obviously, in beauty contests, they discriminate based on attractiveness. So when it comes to the book, I don't even know if I agree with it or not, but it's just... It, it's very thought-provoking. It just raises the question of where exactly do you draw that line? Because you can't just say it's good or bad. I mean, you can't say discrimination itself is bad because, again, you're saying choice is bad. But if you say discrimination is good, well, then we, where do we go? So, I mean, if, if you're going to say discrimination isn't good, then we, where do we draw that line in the middle? And I think that's that's basically the big question he asks, and he explores it throughout the book. So. I read this last year. It's still very fresh in my mind. I thought it was a very good book. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like uh, if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for plenty more reviews. I'm going through a bunch right now. And thanks for watching.